Hola, gringos y gringos, and welcome to Gringos R Us. Expats with a plan. I'm Mark. I'm Gina. This is Margie. <laughs> this week, we're going to show you our Airbnb mansion that we had in El Tejar and give you our first impressions coming up right after this. mentioned we're going to talk about the mansion that we stayed at in Veracruz. Now you have to keep in mind the plan was totally different when we booked this. When we booked this uh, particular Airbnb they were supposed to be right at the end of Gina's contract so it was sort of like okay she was going to work for one extra week there then we're going to have four weeks to sort of just relax and so we did splurge a little bit on this particular airbnb and then she got extended i got extended so i really didn't get a vacation it was going to be kind of like a vacation and we were looking at it that way yeah kind of like oh hey it's a resort it's got a pool blah blah blah, blah. well yeah it looked like a resort yeah it pretty much did but we will get to that i think this video is going to actually be broken into two parts we're going to talk about the airbnb yep and then we're going to give our initial impressions of the community where we were, which was? El Tejar. El Tejar. Yep. So, um, I'm going to share with you the journey. Let's talk a little about the journey. Um, well, I mean. It was like a 500 mile drive, 800 kilometers roughly, total. I mean, it took us mm -hmm. two days. I mean, we went from um, San Luis Potosi down to Carretero, Spent the night in Carretero at the Air Motel. <sighs> okay. And then got up at the crack of dawn and hit the road and made it from South Carretero all the way into El Tejar. Yeah. And it was a very interesting drive, um, part of it coming through the mountains. The terrain was really drastically different. Yes. Up until that point, we had been staying in the High Sierra desert, high elevation, kind of dry, dusty. Uh, that changed. Yeah, everything suddenly went green. Went uh, green. I mean, we hit the mountains yeah. of Veracruz and it turned into green and it was very reminiscent of driving through the Smoky Mountains. I which, mean, which it's, we were used to. Yep. Yeah. And oh, and we went through Puebla. Yeah, I went through during, Puebla. During the eruption issue, we were driving through Puebla, and I said to Mark, boy, it's really foggy here. And then, then she was like, but it smells like smoke. It smells like something's burning, but I can't quite and, pinpoint and what it is. Then we happened to see that there, whatever it was, was actually blowing across the highway. And yeah. eventually it all got pieced together. Uh, duh, yeah. it's the volcano. That's, that's volcanic ash. Yes. And it literally looked like a wall of fog. Yeah. Driving through Puebla. But boy, we got into the mountains going into Veracruz and it got so green. And then there were peaks and valleys yep. and clouds hovering over the mountains. And then we had a long drive down a hill with run runway ramps yep. for the trucks. Um, yeah, it was just really different to see that. It was, it was definitely a little unique. Um, mm -hmm. It was a very pretty drive. And then once we hit the bottom of the mountains, it was nice four lane road. Let's yeah. go. I don't know what it is, but there's something about having a Coca-Cola in a glass bottle that just makes it better. <laughs> and we did, made pretty good time, and then uh, suddenly it was, get off at this exit. <laughs> Again, the exits. And, and no, we didn't miss the exit, but the exit was a dirt road. And then it goes turn left. 
Well, it wasn't a turn left, it was turned 270 degrees back. And then we just kept going down this road with burros and chickens goats, and goats and cows, cows and, and dogs. Oh God, yes, dogs, cats, uh, pigs. Everything, I everything mean, on the road, yep. everything. Obviously, turn left onto Vicente Campo Redondo, next right onto Constitución, then turn left to stay on Constitución. Yep. It was so funny. We actually had to wait for a chicken crossing. We had to wait for the chicken to cross the road. Chicken, several. Didn't tell us why. Several chickens. And, and, and <laughs> the first three or four that went across the road were taking their own, you know, own sweet time oh, about yeah. doing it. Yeah. And the last one was very considerate and was like, oh, here, let me run and get across the road. So... Um, but to say that we were rural oh, yeah. is um, an understatement. We quite literally were. We were so far off the grid that we had well water. Yep. And the well water was very high salinity. Yes. Because we were close to the Gulf. And so... It got a little brackish. And, yeah. Yep. And, and then uh, once we got to the end of the road, we had to go down this little dirt road. Another tope. It's not in the way, say I'm right. Then your destination will be on the right. sort of pull up and it it sort of looked like uh in Scarface we were pulling into the compound down in, <laughs> in Columbia there not that again <laughs> I mean I'm just saying it was it, I mean it was a it was very very high walls and don't and mess with me Tony don't mess with me Tony of course that's um, not the words you yeah use. we will we're, we're trying to keep this as a family <laughs> um and you know they, they opened the they opened the gates, let us in. There was, I don't know, six, seven, eight people working to get the house ready for us. Um, yeah, so we need to kind of put a slight disclaimer in there. This house, we were only the second people to rent it. In 2023. In 2023. And um, we get there, it's like May, right? So there only been one person in there before us. It doesn't get used a lot. Uh, the upkeep is, was a little bit, um, desired. However, it's not for lack of effort. There were a lot of people on site getting that place ready for us when yep. we arrived. They were cleaning pool. They were drilling a new well or doing something. Yep, they were they're, putting, they're, a, new they're putting a whole new well in. I mean, they were doing all kinds of things to get the place ready. So that was appreciated. Domingo. And, and Domingo was there and bless you, Domingo. I could barely get the stuff out of the car yes. at the rate that he was, you know, bajo arriba. You know, I, yeah. este arriba, este bajo. Ah, you know, and he was just off he'd go. And I'd get something else out of the car and he's right there. Yeah. You know. I mean, like and he literally unloaded at least half the car. Gina was like, I'm going to go film the house and then I'll be back to help. And by the time she came back to help, it was done. But it was Jose, Luis, and Juanita who yep. adopted us. So yeah. during and, and our stay there, we got to get to know them fairly well and their family and the cousins and the mom and the <laughs> Yeah, the, 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 part, the, the part that was, was a little weird was we weren't really thinking that there was going to be somebody staying yes. on the premises. Yes. This, this house had servant quarters. Two different places. Two different places. One, One had, in the house. In the house above the laundry area. And then another had a little casita out mm -hmm. in front uh, by the, the garage right. or the, the, the doors to open into the compound. Right. So, you know, it was taking a little bit of getting used to this. And then all of a sudden we changed the cast of characters. And, you know, but let's show you the house yes. and then we'll come back. Check it out. Okay. Okay. 
Oh my goodness. Guys, check it out. Look at this. This is the living room. The living room. Right? And there is a pool. And on the other side of the pool, there is a river. Gina. Mucho gusto. Look at this table. Guys, the wall, the whole wall is a painting. And the kitchen is a huge kitchen. Like, no joke. Like, this is a professional type kitchen. Holy moly. Coffee. Oh, yes. We got. I mean, I might very well just set my workstation up right there. I don't know. We got. This is our wash area for laundry, I'm assuming. Yep. Washer and dryer. Thank goodness it's individual machines because that combination machine is horrible. And then the stairs of death, which I will not climb. At least not today. Oh my goodness, this is just insane. Gas. Let's look. Oh yeah. Some good cookware. Oh my goodness, yes. Oh yeah. Very happy with that. What's down here? Oh, placemats and things. Okay. We got a microwave. Hola. And a stove. And what's in here? Oh, a little fridge. Okay, not so bad. Yeah. Pantry space, excellent. A freezer, I bet, yep. Oh yeah, very nice. Oh, good, a dispenser for the garrafon. Lots of dishes, all kinds of dishes. Ah, this is amazing. What, yes, is this metal? <gasps> it's a metal juicer, guys, oh yes. Fresh orange juice, for sure. More stuff, cutting boards, uh, just like little soup crocks. Wow, oops, okay. Nice deep sink. What's under here? Okay, we got some cleaning supplies. Very good. Extra scrubbies, a brush, a dishwasher. Virtually unheard of in Mexico. Well, not unheard of, but it's not that common to see them. Got some paper towels. Silverware, some coffee stuff, tea. I don't know what. Okay, let's just keep on going. Oh, that view. Dang. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm going over here now. What's in here? Bedroom number one. Double beds, lots of closet space. Wow. And a private bathroom of its own. Lots of closet space though. I mean, geez. Look at all this. Just door after door. Very nice, okay? And it smells so nice in here too. I love it when it smells good. All right, now we're gonna go over here. That's bedroom number one. This is a, oh my goodness, what? Storage. Pantry stuff. What? There's like pillows and a cleaning supplies, soap, paper towels, toilet paper, garbage bags, hand wash. 
Okay, so lots of extra supplies. Very nice. And a trampoline, I think. Bedroom number two. Nice. Also has its own private bathroom. Right? And um, right now what I'm seeing is some people, looks like they're setting up or cleaning what is the jacuzzi. That's what it looks like right there. So let's go back this way. So done with bedroom number two. Again, all that closet space. Incredible. Incredible. Let's go upstairs. Okay. Fortunately, oh wait, what's this? Okay, a, a bathroom. Good, just to have one right here. So that's a half bath. Mark is hauling things in. Sorry, Mark, I'm coming. Okay, glass banister here, which is kind of nice to have. Wow, wow, wow. Incredible. Oh man, I miss this piece of art. And then out there, we've got the beautiful view of the river. All right. Looking for bath. Bedroom number three. Here we go. Bedroom number three. Super long, again, same design, tons of closet space. Private bathroom. All right. Then we have bedroom number four. This is gonna be our room, obviously. It's a king. Super extra large closet space. Double sink bathroom. Oh, oh, how funny. Look at this. Hello. Okay. Step up shower. Water drains off in a trough. That's interesting. Very nice. Okay. All right, back out. And then from our bedroom, we also have, let's see, we got a TV. We have an air conditioning unit, which is actually running right now, and it feels good.
the house is pretty amazing, isn't it? It really was a very comfortable place. Yeah, the only the only thing it really, really, really needed were blinds on that wall of glass. Yes. Because in the morning, the sun rose over top of the river and shone right through that wall of glass. And I didn't matter what we put the air conditioning on. It was hot. It was hot. It was hot, especially if you were in direct, mm -hmm. uh, directly getting hit with the sun. Now, what they did for me is they did have like a manual blind. They could hang on some hooks to help me out because I was working on a computer and it was just, it was so hard that even the screens and me yeah. trying to see, it was just too much. At one point I used to put an umbrella over my head to help because it would get past the initial Well, there's two, shade. There was two parts of right. it. There was, a, there was a part where all the sliding glass doors were, and then there was an upper level that was still more glass. Mm -hmm. And then when it would rise to the point that it was above the sliding glass doors, then she became Mary Poppins over there. And yeah, just, you know, pop off the umbrella. Yep. I, you know what? It's funny because I see... That's not something I'm used to seeing in the United States, but down here in Mexico, man, if it's hot. They're um, walking with their walking umbrella. Walking with the umbrellas. They're on the bike with the umbrella. That is true. I mean, That's true. So let's see. Impressions of the house. Number one, it was peaceful. Oh, God, yes. It was quiet. There were a variety of new species of birds mm -hmm. that I could identify with my birding app. Um, interesting plants. We had coconuts. We drank coconut water yep. one day. That was pretty awesome. But we never were able to get good coconut meat. That's okay. Nope. And then uh, we had all the little friends, all the little lizards that were... All the lizards. The house lizards. Little geckos. There were different kinds. Some of them were not geckos. But there were geckos as well. And they made chirping noises. And I couldn't figure out what the chirping noise was. I had no idea that the males will make a chirping noise. We know what they were after. <laughs> That's about it. Yeah, but... <laughs> Let's get ready to rumble! And then, and then as you got down by the, the river down there, then you had the iguanas, the green iguanas, the brown iguanas, and some every once in a while, you'd see a gray iguana. Yep. Um, and then if you stepped outside onto the dirt road, they were all over the place. They were everywhere. And that was just... Um, so aside from the very intentional isolation yep. and quiet yep. and sounds of nature and the beauty of the river, and the water hyacinths just floating by. Mm -hmm. um, thoroughly enjoyed all of that. The luxury of having a pool that felt like bath water every day. Yeah. That was all quite nice. I walked into Centro of El Tejar. It's a small little Mexican community. Yep. Yeah. Very simple. That walk took me maybe 35, 45 minutes each way, but I did it in uh, nine o'clock in the morning and didn't get back till probably close to one o'clock in the afternoon. And yeah, I had a lot of sun, mucho calor. There were, there were men riding by on bicycles looking at me going, mucho calor? I'm like, see, sí, see. Sí. And, and it was, it was only about a uh, 15 minute car ride into um, Boca del Rio to mm -hmm. go to, you know, go shopping for anything. Um, and you know, the, the kitchen was huge. Oh, the kitchen was fantastic. Yeah, you know, I, mean, I mean... The size, it was great. And there was an oven. Yep. Um, and we had, of course, the microwave and a stove. I mean, it had just about everything we need. Uh, I would have I liked having maybe some an electric mixer or, or something, but hey. What now you're you just getting I'm greedy. just getting picky now. Yeah. Right? It was a luxury I mean, house. We it had, was a wonderful kitchen. We had a blender. We did. You had a coffee maker. Yes, we did. We had... Places to make food. We had margaritas. 
life was good. It was good. You know, it was really good. And, and the, the, the part that really, really took some getting used to was the constant flow of people. Yeah. You know, that was, I mean, because uh, we had um, Rimaldo, who was the pool guy. And he was there every day, sometimes twice a day. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then you had Jose and, and, and Juanita and they'd show up and they'd be doing watering something, cleaning something, right. doing, you know, Maintenance working on something. this. Then you had the electrician that was coming in that was fixing various. First, you had to fix the, to get the pump working for the new well. Yep. Then he worked on a couple of uh, lighting fixtures. He worked and, on the jacuzzi some too. Yeah, he worked on the jacuzzi yeah. some too, which never did quite get to work the entire time we were there. But, um, but there was always people. There, yeah, there was always people there and they were always working on something. Uh-huh. Um, and I mean, that was okay, but it, it there were security cameras, uh -huh. and I didn't mind the security cameras, except that most of them were outside around the pool. And while we're there, we're isolated, we're kind of like, okay, we're going to like, I don't know, skinny dip maybe? Not maybe. And so, and so Jose Luis is like, I'm going to turn off the security cameras so you guys can do those things, right? Yeah. Yep. And so the security cameras get torn off, torn, torn off, get, torn off, get, get, get torn off, get get rip it, them just off, torn them right threw off, threw them into the river. Yes. Um, but they turned them off, and and you know it's funny because the first couple nights you were there on the TV are all the cameras. We're watching them. We're watching them in bed. Um, so they get turned off, and the first opportunity this guy gets, he's out of his skivvies and into the pool. All right. Okay. If, if you say it's okay, so what do I do? Well, I get down to business and I get in the pool. Duh. Next thing you know, poor Juanita had been down by the river or something. I don't know what. I don't know where she came from. And, and we see her and she's walking by us doing this. I felt so bad. So then I was much more careful. I pretty much always had a swimsuit on for the most part, unless it was dark. Unless it was dark. Well, and then I would. Then I would. But just saying. Yeah, I'm just saying. That, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I know, I know. But I was. I, I think they. I think they realized that if the music. If they heard music from the pool, <laughs> they better just announce themselves before walking around the corner. Just. But the fun thing was is that we got to enjoy the company of the family. It, um, it, they came it, over a few times, did yeah. some parties with us. I mean, let me say this. One of the things that that life sometimes does for you it gives you people that make huge differences in your life I and mean, when we came down here in 2021 it was miguel and miguel you know showed us around you know Valladolid and, and ekbalam and chitsen itza and showed us a side of mexico we had never seen before yep. And then we get to El Tejar, and Jose Luis's English was about on a par with my Spanish. Mm -hmm. and, and so we were able to actually have some, some conversations. Um, they were really sort of disjointed because part of it was in English and part of it was in Spanish, but it worked. Yeah. But that entire family took us and adopted us and and, and 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 you know we went to to the zopolo wow. with them we went downtown um better cruise with them and you know we had we had the cousins going you know if you need a place to stay you know We'll find you a place to stay if you want to come back to Better Cruise. We yeah. can find you, you know, we think housing. You should, come back. you should come back to Better Cruise. And, yeah. and you know, we, every one of them, you know, for, from yeah. grandma on down to, to the kids were just, you know, and that just made a huge impact. Um, and again, it showed us why we are here. Yeah, for sure. You know, if, if there was any doubt, no, no. you know, 
we were so accepted, made part of the family, and they weren't taking no for an answer. It was like, you know, no, come on. Come on, we're going. We're going. <laughs> we're doing this. Yes, introduced us to some new foods. Yep. Um, just, we're going to share that yeah. experience with you eventually, but that's part of the, what's our first impressions. Um, and initially what I'm going to say is, we really didn't get out much. We went to the mall, we went to the grocery store. Um, you know, there really wasn't anything outside of the Malacón and Veracruz that, and, and the Zocalo that we really wanted to see. Or, well, or, that, that, were, that were within, within easy distance. Easy distance, yeah. I mean, we did book some tours, which we will share with you eventually, um, but that was not part of the first impression. The first impression was this was a rural location. We were next to the river. It was peaceful, it was quiet, and it was out there. Oh, yeah. And, and it also had the fastest damn internet that I've seen anywhere in Mexico. Anywhere. And it also had the damnedest bugs. There were a lot of bugs. And, and, and we're not talking about, I mean, just, you know, crawling no. through the house type. That, that, no. no. We're talking. No. No see you know, it, No see if, if you walked through the grass, yep. you were going to get eaten alive. And you know, it hurt. Yeah. And it hurt. You could feel them biting you. Yep. Yeah. And um, normally I'm normally they get her and they tend to avoid me. Yeah. It was exactly well not the opposite. She got some, but they tore me up. Yeah, yeah. But you know, that's just I mean who that's we are. It, it is what it is, but it's that was are. and the other the, so so basically we wanted that peace and quiet. We're down here by the river, saw lots of new, interesting uh, what they call the Mexican squirrel. My goodness, yep, I red, have never seen a squirrel that looked like that. Red squirrel. Incredible. Interesting birds, lots of lizards. I love lizards. People walking across the, wall, the, the river. People walking across the river because the river was so low, they could walk across it. And we were told. And, and we were talking, we're talking, you could see the top of the swimsuits oh, yeah. all the way across yeah. as they were walking. And then we were told that during the rainy season, mm -hmm. It overflows the pool and it goes up the road. And, and it literally will lift, be about two feet up in, inside the house on the bottom floor. Yeah. Because I asked them, what, well, what do you do with everything? They carry it upstairs. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's what you got to do. Yes, it is. Um, the only other thing I can really say about it is, look, this was a location where English is not spoken. And no. it was really very helpful Sometimes frustration, but it was it was helpful in in making us speak more Spanish, mm -hmm. especially me, which which I've had limited time to really learn things. But I learned some new phrases, and I, I learned some funny some funny not so nice somewhat naughty phrases <laughs> during one of our pool parties, which was hilarious, and um, a little bit of slang thrown in there. And, it's funny. and, and, and you know. I I got to practice trying to have a conversation while intoxicated. You know. Also true. With an intoxicated person. With an intoxicated Two person. Two intoxicated people having a conversation. One knowing what they're talking about and the other over there going, <laughs> I need another beer. The only other thing that people really need to know about the location, and this was really evident in our first impressions, is it is hot. And it is humid. Hot. And Muy humid, humid, like, like you're gonna melt. <laughs> yeah, it, it's. Um, yeah. I sweated a lot, even outside in the pool. Sweated a lot. Sweated in the pool. Uh, wow. Yeah. I mean, it was hot, but it was so hot you couldn't walk on the patio. It was. So oh God, hot. no, no! If you didn't take, if you didn't take a pair uh, of. You know, flip flops or something to when you got out of the pool, your feet were toasted. I would say that pool was probably one quarter Olympic length. Yeah, quarter. maybe. Yeah, I mean, it's a good sized pool. It was a decent sized pool, and the water was warm like bath water every day. Yep. It was hot. Um, and there was no getting away from it. Nope. And thank goodness we had an air conditioner in the bedroom. <laughs> Yes. Probably the best thing about the stay there were the was, people. Were the people, honestly. Oh, even even more than that great house. 
It was the people. It was the people. Yeah, without a doubt. So Jose, Luis, and, 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 and Juanita. And who are brand new grandparents. They are now abuelo y abuela. See. Si. And the grandbaby, is it, I forget, is that? Cristobal. Cristobal, yeah. So. And he's cute. Yes. That's, uh, they finally got to bring him home. We saw the pictures the other day. And yeah. Thumbs and, up. And, and, their, and their son, uh, Miguel, Mickey. Mi Mickey, he's now an uncle. Yep. So he was holding the baby in one of the pictures. It's adorable. Uncle so, Mickey. Uncle Mickey. <laughs> so that's about a wrap for what, you know, the house was like and our first impressions of... El Tejar. There you go. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And join us for our next video, which will drop in just a few days. Yep. We are Gringos R Us. Expats with the plan. Remember, we, we are, are doing, doing it. You can too. And here's some other videos that you might be interested in. Hasta la próxima. Adios.